are going book shopping. We normally go to Barnes and Noble, but today we wanted to switch it up a little bit and go to Books A Million. Our location is in a mall, so that's why we don't normally go as much as we'd want to, but we know Books A Million is a lot of y'all's favorite, so we definitely want to start going more. Last time we went, we were actually really impressed with the store itself. Not only do they have new releases out in the front like a normal bookstore, but they also have this huge bargain book section in the back where they have more affordable books. So we like that they have different options and hopefully I can find something in the bargain book section. We are going to the beach next week, but by the time you guys are seeing this, we will already be there. So definitely follow us on our Instagram if you want to see what books we're reading while we're at the beach. Hopefully I can find a book today to bring to the beach because I don't have any like summer reads. We're just going to go ahead over there now and see what they have. just got back home we are actually so impressed with the store i forgot how nice it is there i just really like that it's such a different scenery since we're always going to barnes and noble it's just nice and fresh <laughs> <laughs> like subway <laughs> We always like how in bookstores they have those gift sections just full of like random items. That's always my favorite part. And everything they had on clearance today was an extra 50% off. So we definitely got a couple items, but we'll go over the books we got first. If you follow me on Goodreads, then you know I just read The Inheritance Games and actually really enjoyed it. So I did see book two of The Hawthorne Legacy, so I knew I had to get it. I thought the first one was a really good introduction to the story. I know a lot of people were saying the second one just gets even better. It really did give me all the spooky fall vibes because there is a lot of a mystery and games and riddles. Overnight, Avery Grahams went from sleeping in her car to billionaire heiress. Now in a world of riddles, danger, and family secrets, Avery is on the hunt for the one person who might hold the answers to all her questions, including why billionaire Tobias Hawthorne left his entire fortune to Avery, a stranger, rather than his own daughters and grandsons. So that was pretty much the whole first book. So now we're just really going to understand why he did that. There was a really big reveal in the end of book one and I did guess that very early on but I'm not mad at it because I think that aspect is going to add so much to the story. A lot of you guys were letting me know whether you were team Jameson or team Grayson. I still haven't picked who I want her to end up with so I'm hoping by the end of this book I have finally picked a team and made my decision on who I want her to be with. I actually did end up getting a beach read. It's definitely not summer anymore but I didn't really read any summer books so I'm excited to have this one. It is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune and this was kind of the book of the summer. Oh, definitely. For a while I debated whether or not I wanted to read it but I felt like you know what we're going to the beach. I feel like it's gonna be the perfect setting. I know a lot of people compare it to Love in Other Words and The Summer I Turned Pretty. I've only read The Summer I Turned Pretty so I'm hoping because of that it's a new experience for me. Mm -hmm. The biggest negative review of that was that it was so similar to Love in Other Words. 
but since you haven't read it yet you'll be going into a fresh story love that the back says six summers to fall in love one moment to fall apart a weekend to get it right told over the course of six years in one weekend every summer after is a gorgeously nostalgic look at love and the people and choices that mark us forever i will be reading it on the beach and i love that it's only about 300 pages i am excited to finally read this and see what all the hype's about i finally gave in and bought the six of crows duology honestly i bought these because i know a lot of people have been saying they are the perfect fall spooky time read and i definitely need more of those i have a lot of summer romance books so i needed to add more of these to my collection i did already take them out of the box set because it was all banged up but the covers are still so beautiful i really like how they have that little glitter detail on it i think it adds so much and it's gonna look so nice on my shelf i know a lot of people were saying that you can read the shadow and bone series <laughs> first just so you get a better understanding of this world but i don't think i'm gonna do that i think i just want to jump right into this world if i change my mind i might watch the shadow and bone series on netflix mm -hmm. and then read the series we'll see i know it is about six people who come together to do a heist this heist can make them rich beyond their wildest dreams but it is going to be deadly i've never read anything like that i don't know too much but i definitely want to go in just like that i'm ready the second one I ended up getting is All of Us Villains by Foodie and Herman. I have seen this one around for a while. I feel like the hype is kind of over, but I do still want to read it. The insight says, the blood moon rises, the blood veil falls, the torment begins. Every generation at the coming of the blood moon, seven families, each name a champion to compete in a secret tournament to the death. I've just heard a lot of good things about this one. On the back it says, dark, luscious, and brutally smart, impossible to put down, a blood-soaked modern tale fantasy. So I'm excited. I believe this is YA and I have a bunch of YA hardbacks already I need to catch up on but this one I think will be at the top of the list so that was it for the books now we're gonna show you guys what we got in the little gift section I found this cute little ring light that you can put on your phone it says you can use it for vlogging it was ten dollars but it was 50% off the red tag so it came up to be five dollars why not I did end up getting a candle this one is tobacco and amber it says it was originally sixteen dollars and I got it for maybe three Mm-hmm. That's everything we bought. We really do like that location. We want to start going more. Comment down below and let us know what your go-to bookstore is. As always, we do post new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. We had to refilm this whole video because my eyelash was hanging off of the last one. And I didn't notice. <laughs> I feel like that's perfect. It's not too long. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not too short. Yeah. A Goldilocks of a book, if you will. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I don't know. I don't know too much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like. <laughs> Overall, we really do love this location, so we do want to start going more. Uh -huh. There's a food court. <laughs>